Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Thinking Thursday with the South Dakota Agricultural Heritage Museum. My name is Sarah, and I'm the Education Coordinator at the Museum, and today we are going to go over our Thinking Thursday activity, which is a word search corresponding with one of our online exhibits called The Unspun Tale, which looks at the history of sheep in South Dakota. So to find this activity and the exhibit that goes with it, you'll want to visit our web page. You can find this either by visiting agmuseum.com or going to sdstate.edu and searching for the Agricultural Heritage Museum. That will bring you to this page, which is our home page. If you scroll down to this right hand side menu, you will see there's a drop down button next to education where you'll select Thinking Thursday. And once that page loads, you'll scroll down to find the activity for August 6, 2020, which is the Unspun Tale online exhibit and word search. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Once this page loads, you'll see the introduction to this activity. This is a really great activity to use if you are looking to explore the exhibit and want a little bit of an activity to keep you engaged. Or it's also a great thing if you're a teacher and you have something that you need subplans for or you need something to add on to a lesson, you can add this activity on as well. So if we scroll down here, I'm doing our helpful video right now. So that will be put into our website here in a little bit. But to complete this online activity, you'll need two different things. You'll need our online The Unspun Tale exhibit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This takes a few seconds to load because there is a lot of really great information. But once it does load, you will notice that you can go ahead and scroll down and new information will be brought up on the screen. And so we have a lot of great information in this exhibit that we've had at the museum a few years ago, but now we're readily putting it online to share with people who didn't get a chance to see the exhibit, whether you're living in South Dakota or not, or if you did get a chance to see the exhibit, you just want to revisit it again, which is great. So you can see that we have a lot of different information, a lot of great pictures on here. Um, we have a few different maps that talk about different things. But as you keep scrolling, new information will keep coming up. As you can see on the right hand side of the page, I've only gotten through about a fourth of the exhibit at this point, which is awesome because there's so much great information here. But once you get done looking through this exhibit, you can go ahead and go back to our page for Thinking Thursday and you'll find our word search we have here on EducaPlay. So we'll go ahead and click that link and a new window will pop up and every once in a while it pops up with an ad but you can generally choose to skip those. And here we are, we can go ahead and hit the start button and it will pop up with a word search. And so you can see that you've got a lot of different or letters here on this grid. You've got the words that you need to find over here on the right hand side. Once you find a word, I found fleece right here in the center. So I'm gonna go ahead and click down on this F, drag it all the way over to the E for the end of the word and then unclick my mouse and you'll see that it highlights it in green both on the word search grid and on the list here on the right. I just found the word shed lambing and so I'm gonna highlight that as well. So again, click down on the S, go all the way over to the end of the word, which is the G, unclick my mouse and that has crossed off the list as well. Now if you're really struggling trying to find a word you can use the show word button here on the bottom and it will bring it up and so then you can go ahead and highlight that and get that down as well. So 
You can see that it's timing you at the top. That's not something you have to pay attention to if you don't want to. It's also providing you with a score for how many words you find correctly. Once you get all the words done, then you're completely done with this and you did a great job. If you are a type of person who would rather do this in person, print something off, you can scroll down to this little printer icon right here. Click that and it will bring up a word search that you can print off on your screen with a list of words on the bottom. So if you are a teacher who's doing this in class and you want kids to have something that they can highlight or circle words on paper, you can go ahead and print this out. Otherwise, if you're a teacher, another great way to um, pay attention to see if the kids have actually done the project. You can wait until they get the confirmation screen that they've completed the activity, have them do a quick screenshot of it, and then go ahead and submit that for a grade if you'd like. So that is how you find both the exhibit for the Unspun Tale and this fun activity. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Again, my name is Sarah. I'm the Education Coordinator at the South Dakota Agricultural Heritage Museum. We hope to see you again next week for another episode of Thinking Thursday. And next week is actually our last episode of Thinking Thursday because we are reopening to the public at the museum on August 17th. So we're super excited to have you all back at the museum and can't wait to see you then. Have a good rest of the week.